Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the Dota 2 Item Guides. This is where we look at particular item builds which helps best maximize the hero you're playing. So Underlord is a melee spell dependent hero. So naturally of course um, a stout shield for the damage reduction and healing items. But also the mango and clarity really help him regen his mana quickly so he can pop off his abilities and get extra farm or even kills. Jungle build, naturally of course you might forego the... Uh, Mana items for a Quelling Blade, and of course Staff Shield and Healing Items. You might want to rush uh, skip Scout Quelling Blade for um, Ring of Protection instead, if that sort of suits. But generally speaking, that's kind of the way you want to do it. So early items is a toss-up. If you need to decide whether or not you want to go for Carry or Support, Carry will go Power Treads for sure, and a Support will go for Mana Boots. Obviously Mana Boots are great for the mana, because he's so spell dependent, and also helps his team. Now, actually, of course, with the support, you're probably going to be more towards the uh, magic stick. And for the carry, Urn of Shadows, really, really great, obviously, for healing yourself, but also taking down your enemies. Um, and so that's basically it. And um, what you really want to do, obviously, as well with the jungle, is you want to build into your talent. And one of the nice things about uh, Underlord is you can use him, obviously, well, in A lane, really. But the nice thing about off lane, particularly, is that you can take him in. He can then go off into the jungle, get a few uh, creeps, come back in, and then farm some more. And it's, it's just really good like that. So core items for carry. Um, so both carry and supports will always want to use Smoke of Deceit. Why? Because obviously he teleports the entire team or whoever to a location to kill people, so the smoke's going to help. Blink Dagger further helps his chase down and initiation. But if you're doing super well with Ultra High Farm, a Radiance makes you a sick carry and is so strong. And if you're getting targeted a lot by the enemy team, Blade Mail. Massive return damage, um, which is just really awesome. The um, the build here that, uh, that Moo's gone for, actually, is a little bit more of a support role. And you can see that there straight away with the Drums of Endurance. He's also gone for Echo Saber, which is, again, a bit more of a carry item. So somewhat of a confused build. But, um, but nonetheless, um, support is also really, really strong. And technically, of course... He's actually a support hero. So Guardian Greaves is a must. Those mana boots get combined, obviously, with the mechanism to make Guardian Greaves help your team a lot. And you notice all his support items obviously help the team more than they really help him. So Drums of Endurance helps him, perhaps the team. And then also, if you're going for a hard push strategy, a Necromonicon is very, very viable as well. Um, so yes, more on the uh, on the support side here. Um, helping the team with, with high mobility is great. And then, of course... Plenty of damage and lockdown, um, keeping his mana up and all that sort of jazz, particularly with the, uh, funnily enough, the magic stick. Don't forget, of course, those power tread swaps. Very, very important when you're low on health or on mana. Um, so getting that balance right is, is absolutely critical. So extension items. Um, gem is hardcore. One of the things that kind of counters Underlord is actually the presence of wards. Gem, naturally, of course, is the enemy to all wards. But for the two main extension items worth focusing on, Salt Karas, naturally, of course, massive aura buff, makes him incredibly strong, and also Shiva's Guard. Hurts the enemy more, but also that massive buff and mana is so, so strong. So you can see here, Mu has very sensibly gone for the Assault Karas. Pretty much the super core item on Underlord, I would say. Uh, and uh, it's simple as that. It just shreds the enemy's armor, buffs your, your team, and then you just have a great time beating everyone to death. It's, it's fantastic. But don't also forget Shiva's Guard. Very, very, very strong. And obviously, because he's so mobile, Boots of Travel work very, very well on him. So if you can get a Boots of Travel, um, that would also really help your win rate. So for situational items, if you're struggling for farm or your team needs the extra early health, uh, gain, then Vladimir's offering and of course Battle Fury will help you solve those problems. Crimson Guard for the same thing, massive team buff. But one of the big things that Underlord tends to find is he gets focused, similar to Doom. And so a uh, buffing item like a Heart of Tarask is very, very important. But probably the most important situational item is a BKB. Almost always going to want to use it or buy it more appropriately. Why? Because again, Underlord is focused a lot on team fights. Um, you will find the enemy wants to take you down. So a BKB obviously helps interrupt all that, wrecks everyone's fun, and while it's on, Underlord kills everyone. It's great. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content, or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.